here's a great way to get one of the most affordable wet palettes out there. Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Today, I have an exciting product to show you that you might not be aware of. It's been on the market for, I don't know, over 20 years. Game Envy sent us over a copy of the Masterson's Wet Palette. Now, this is the smaller one. It's perfect. It's gamer size, so to speak, for a tabletop. Uh, it's just the right size, but I think more importantly is that it might be the affordable wet palette solution for a lot of us out there that's easily accessible uh, here in the States and, and abroad. So Game Envy is the exciting team of folks that brought us the hobby holder. They've done, I think, two Kickstarters now, and they are really just firing on all cylinders with all sorts of uh, great products for uh, just to make everything you do on the tabletop a little bit simpler. And you can see some of them right here. We've covered a few of them in the past, uh, the hobby holder and such, and we're gonna do a few more here in the near future, depending on which order this uh, video comes out, spoiler alert. But what I wanted to talk to you today was, like I said, they sent this over to us. They're like, hey, have you ever heard of this Masterson <laughs> Stay, Stay Wet Palette? I was like, yes, actually, I've, I've used that like 20 years ago. I was like, they still make those? It was my first response, which was kind of good and bad, I guess. I've been doing this maybe a little too long. Either way, so they've got them in stock. Uh, they are on sale right now. They might not always be on sale. There is a discount code if you sign up for our newsletter and uh, our veteran of long war, a Patreon supporter, there's a discount code over there for Game Envy that you can save um, off the, the base price of this. Now, it's also comparable with Amazon. So, I mean, before you click that button on Amazon, yo, help out some of the folks actually in the hobby instead of those big, block, big box retailers. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, I mean, it might be a dollar plus or minus, but I mean, come on, it's a dollar, guys. Like, let's let's keep the money in the hobby, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, long story short, uh, this is where you can pick it up. Now, there are refills. Uh, you can get a refill for the sponge. You can get a refill for the paper. And the paper is super specific, and I'm going to show you how to, you have to actually cook the paper. We'll get to that here in a second, uh, which is very cool. It's not just something you buy and you throw it on a shelf. This is a really great little package deal that we're, we're going to really jump into a lot of it here in a second on the tabletop once uh, we get into it. So it's a little bit of pre-hobby to, to get happening here, but trust me, it's definitely worth the time and effort. This is something I had mine for about 10 years. Don't really use wet palettes that much anymore. I'm just kind of, um, I'm kind of on the fence about them. I think they're great for a lot of people. I think they're great for a lot of beginner hobbyists, but me personally, don't use them. That doesn't mean they're not bad. There's definitely some, some benefits to these things right here, and uh, I'm about to show you. So dimensions eight and a half by seven by one inches tall it's it's very very easy to move around it's the smallest version they make i believe and uh, it's just very easy to find all the different components if you need refills and of course you can pick it up over on game mv's website as well packaging wise this is what it looks like it literally hasn't changed i mean maybe they've updated some text this looks exactly the same as it did 20 years ago when i bought one it's kind of crazy so it just comes in a very nondescript plastic bag uh, with some UPC codes and stuff. You may find this, like I said, in big box stores. But hey, help out Game Envy for real. Like, let's keep the money in the hobby. But it's it's that simple. You open it up and there's a little bit of pre-hobby to do. So you got this. And like I said, it's about eight and a half by seven right here. Once you get this open, which, oh, right, goes each way. You'll see, you get, uh, you get enough sheets to get started of the actual paper here. Now, this is a very tough paper. You're gonna notice once you, this is a sheet. You're gonna be like, wait, is that multiple sheets? No, that's a sheet right here. It's tough. It's designed to take those little painter uh, scalpel thingies and use oil colors on it. So it will actually hold up to a little bit of wear. Obviously don't cut it with an X-Acto blade. It's not designed for that. It is designed to have a little bit of wear here. So it's like a chunky paper towel. You're gonna get, you know, a decent amount of sheets right there. That should last you a while. If you're blowing through this much paper, you might have some other hobby issues to be quite honest. You're also gonna get the sponge, which um, comes in here. Now they're not always super shaped to this thing, but trust me, once you get it wet and you start following the instructions, it's gonna start to make sense. And then the tray where uh, you'll actually keep a little bit of the water. Now, let me run down a couple of helpful hints. You do have to cook this paper. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. It takes like five minutes of your time. You can literally do it while you're pooping. It's that easy. So here's how easy it is. You're just gonna wanna get out a pan or a cookie sheet or something that can hold water. You put a little water in it, you heat it up in the microwave for about four to five minutes. Be careful when you pull it out. Uh, this is before uh, the it has really started cooking, so I just poured the water in. You can kinda see a few bubbles in there. It's not quite boiling yet, 
but notice how the paper is perfectly like actually just it just looks like normal paper just like i showed you now why you leave this to cook aka you're pooping it will actually cook off some of the material on the paper itself and there you can see those aren't bubbles that's actually the part that becomes permeable for water to kind of pass through it and lend its properties through the paper to the paint itself so that's what it's going to look like once it starts looking like that you can leave it in the water it doesn't matter um, and just kind of do its thing because you're going to want to keep it submerged until you're ready to assemble the whole thing together with the sponge and everything like that so that's how easy it is to cook the paper it takes four or five minutes super easy to be quite honest i don't know if you need to keep your paper submerged but i always just took it from being wet to adding it right onto the sponge now speaking of the sponge we have gone ahead and dunked this in some water squeezed it out once or twice because there's a little bit of surface additives on this and you want to clean it off and get it prepped then what's all you want to do to get this ready is wring it out about halfway to where there isn't a bunch of standing water like this is holding water it's obviously damp and if you have any other questions from there just take a look at how much water transfers when you touch it to the plastic it shouldn't be that much and you can see right there there's barely any so now you see that the sponge fits straight in there there's no sizing issues or anything like that and then next up just grab your piece of paper that you cooked and you can see it's got a little bit of residual water on it that's no big deal that'll just kind of help with things and it looks like i got a little bit of rust on my paper from my pan isn't that nice time, time to replace a pan right there so now you can see for the most part that there's a little bit of the sponge kind of giving a little bit of support to the paper right there and that kind of creates the whole like system for your paints right there now real quick before i show you how you know easy it is to actually work with this and work with the paints and stuff this will start to dry out it's not waterproof so there's no seal or anything on here so if you're going to move it around you know make sure you keep it level and stuff it's pretty snug i don't want to say it's airtight there's no documentation that says it's airtight but i actually had a hard time opening it earlier so it's gonna do you right but just you're not gonna be able to leave your stuff in here for hours and hours and hours you know over days i mean you can do it for a couple of days i've done it a couple of days with this thing before but you know once you the weeks start to pile on your your corners are going to start to dry out on your sponge and then to just re-wet it it's very easy to do so like say your corner starts to starts to pull up with drying out in the sponge right there all you have to do is just kind of pull it up keep your paper flush on it and then just get you a little bit of water squirt a little bit of water in here squirt squirt that wasn't a real squirt and then replace the sponge down and just kind of tilt the water in here so that it like kind of grabs the areas that are dry and should look something similar to this like you don't want to put too much in there you don't want it coming up over the sponge you don't want to get on the surface here or anything like that unfortunately i don't have any smell buds so my stuff probably always smelled like mildew and i am or mold and i just had no idea myself personally somebody one time was like "Ooh, that smells bad and i was like why what's it smelling and they're like mold and i was like oh that explains it i've never cleaned it out however <laughs> uh this is not it's a little resistant to to mold and stuff but it's not rated and nobody rates that it's all medical stuff it, it's it's not a real thing so you know you may get some moldy smells you may see some mold on this it's very easy to fix you can just use a little peroxide you can sp uh, put peroxide in a little bottle you know and just you probably have some hydrogen peroxide in your bathroom i had some right here it's three percent uh just, just put it in a spray bottle just like the instructions say i've actually done this before spray it in there it's not going to hurt the paper it's not going to hurt the sponge it's not definitely not going to hurt the, the abs plastic or anything like that this stuff will kill i mean this will get blood out of your clothes don't ask me how i know that this will literally get blood out of your clothes and keep it from staining so peroxide is the real deal and that's how you can get rid of uh, nasty mold or moldy odors overall in your system so now that we've got all it all set up why don't we try it out and we're just going to put a little bit of this uh, surface primer by Balejo. i really like this stuff it it uh you can apply one coat if you need to lip any of your models like we got a uh, valoris right here all painted up but unfortunately we need some black around there and we've got it all trimmed up ready to go nice and flush so we're just going to grab some of our paint here and as you can see it's looking great definitely spreads out just fine don't have to add any thinner any flow improver already caught a cat hair look at that aren't we lucky it literally has been out here for less than five minutes so we already caught a cat hair and look at that perfect saturation perfect blend perfect coat you don't even have to add anything to it 
it's pretty much remarkable now if you are in the need of a wet palette you know what areas you live in you know what works for you you know what doesn't work for you so you know you may have to add water a little bit more than most people uh, it just really depends on kind of where you're at in your particular area but overall i mean at anywhere from 10 to 12 dollars for this whole system here i i think it's really affordable for most people and i at least try it you know what i'm saying i feel like you owe it to yourself to at least try it see if it improves your paint game son if not then hey whatever you're out of 10 bucks and if in this hobby 10 bucks if we're just out 10 bucks on something i feel like that's a win-win i'll gamble 10 bucks all day on a new hobby tool or a new set of hobby aids just to get something to save me a little bit more time and allow me to enjoy the hobby a little bit more so that's it for this one folks i hope you really enjoyed or unboxing kind of the explanation of the Masterson uh, wet palette. Again, it's the eight and a half by seven by one inch depth once you get it all together uh, in here. And it's forms, it's it's a great system. It's easy to get. Check it out over on gameenvy.net. And uh, hobby strong, everybody. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.